Yay, we found something new, a pair of black back jackal. I haven't seen black back jackal in so long. Hello, guys. Hopefully they do set up territory. They've got one of my favorite calls in the African bush. Well, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a little jackal den with some jackal pups? Now, out of the two jackal species we see, the black backs are far more carnivorous and not to say they won't eat insects, but they generally prefer meat. Oh, it looks like, there we go, as I said, uh, it's, what you got? You got a beetle. Yes, as I said, they will eat insects. Oh, you dropped it. Crunch, crunch. But of the two jackal species, they are far, far more carnivorous than the side striped. And uh, they are the ones who often harass the lion and leopard on kills and even sneak in between the hyenas if they get a chance. Oh, we're very exciting. I would be absolutely ecstatic if we got a pair to set up here on Sandy Patch. There we go. That is a scent marking sign, see, uh, the one that looks like the male on the left defecated and the female immediately urinated on top. Then they're, they're a little bit skittish, so I'm not going to move the vehicle, they should hopefully pop out into the open. Hello Rebecca, Rebecca is wondering whether jackal are related to coyotes. Uh, they are Rebecca, they are both part of the, the genus Canis, uh, the dog family. I'm going to try, I said they're a bit skittish and with a strong wind they might be a little bit more skittish. I'll try to get one last few of them but again I don't want to disturb them too much because we really want them to set up shop here on Juma. Uh, but K uh, yes they are uh, separated quite a long time ago but the, they are part of the Canis family, the dog family. So they're probably as closely related to coyotes as coyotes are to domestic dogs and as jackals are to domestic dogs. Uh, I'm afraid I do not know the genetic lines of coyotes that well. I'm going to have to do some more reading up. Naughty Brent. Okay. So as I said, I'm not going to push too far. As I said, we, we don't want to disturb them. It would really, really be wonderful to, to have them permanently or semi-permanently in this area. So if I can't see them once I go past this quarry bush, I'm not going to push any further. But definitely worth coming to have a look. Oh, there they are. Long distance. Bebop. Um, through that gap. There. A little bit to the right. Well, that's where they were. They were there. They kept moving. So, as I said, I don't want to...